Hello everyone and welcome back to another juggling tutorial. So today we're going to learn a very simple one ball trick, um, actually two tricks, uh, but the principle is the main thing that I want to talk about today because you can apply this to uh, a lot of different uh, areas of your body. So today we're going to be doing the elbow. What we're going to do is we're going to do the elbow bounce like this and we're going to do the elbow balance like this. So as you can see they're very similar um, but with some subtle differences uh, and what you can do with the elbow bounce uh, you can do and the elbow balance you can do uh, the same anywhere on your foot on your knee on your head uh, and it's the same principle. Um, by the way, I would usually call this an elbow, assuming, is it a different name for the inner elbow or not? Because what's the difference between this and this? Are they both elbow um, bounces? Anyway, that's a question for you guys. Let me know in the comments if I don't know my human anatomy very well. Um, Anyway, I digress. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do for the elbow bounce is have a look at what the arm is doing. So, you're starting in a bent position. Uh, this is how you would be when you're juggling, like this. And the idea is you go from bent to straight and you make contact with the ball at the point of you reaching straight. You don't want to be later and you don't want to be earlier. Now, I'll give you an example uh, with a football or a soccer ball if I have any American watchers. So, the principle is the same as with a kick. So when you kick a ball, you want to, I'm sure you all know how to do it. I hope you see my head, by the way. If not, sorry about that. Um, when you kick a ball, it's like this, right? And you want to hit the ball at the same time as you reach full extension with your leg to generate maximum force uh, and that's how you know where you can control it etc. Um, it's not ideal if you went to kick a ball and you kick it like with your leg still bent um, and it's also not ideal to kick a ball and your leg reaches straight and then you just go and kick it with a straight leg you ideally want to hit it at the right place. And it's the same with the, at the right place, at the right time. It's the same with the ball. So you don't want to do, uh, you don't want to hit it with a bent arm because you're not going to achieve much power or control. You definitely don't want to hit it with your arm already straight because um, you're not going to get anything out of that. Um, so, for example, if I've got a bent arm here, I can't, the only thing I can do is go up with my shoulder. Uh, if I've got a straight arm, it's the same, I can just go up and down like this. With a bent arm to straight arm, it's very simple like that, like this. You can see there's a very nice little pop if you get the timing correctly. Um, so that's kind of all to practice for now. Um, just get the ball in one arm, you can do it from the same arm as elbow if you like. Uh, I personally prefer it from the other side. So I'm going to throw it and then I'm going to pop it, catch back in my hand. Um, or pop it, catch back in the other arm. Uh, sometimes, uh, as you can see just then, uh, one of my pops was better than the other. And it's very easy to recognise when you get a good pop. So, once you practice with this a little bit, you can try uh, to do two pops, so one, two, wasn't perfect, but two, three, and then you can see it's, uh, it gets into the realms of uh, trying to control where the pop goes. So yeah, this is something really good to play with. Um, now, the second uh, part of this trick, sorry, it's a different trick, but very similar, just with a slightly different principle. So to balance it on your arm, like, like, this, just pretend that didn't happen, like this. Um, a couple of things, uh, the first thing 
is you want to, on this trick, you want to keep your arm, uh, you want to have it straight before the ball gets there because you really don't want any pop. Uh, you want the opposite of that. And the second thing is as when your arm is already straight and the ball is coming down, you actually want to go down with the ball. So um, you, you want to stop the ball and its momentum at the moment is going down, but you can't stop it like directly because then it won't be balanced. It will just fall off, it will pop off, it will bounce off. Um, but you want to go down with it and then sort of grind to a halt. Uh, for example, if you're on your bike and you're braking, if you brake, if you're going like really fast, you brake really hard, you're gonna fall over the handlebars. You wanna go slowly, slowly until you hit the, uh, until you stop moving. Same principle. Um, so uh, as you, can, you just saw there, it is sometimes a little bit tricky if you've got like, depending on what you're wearing, uh, sometimes it can help to have a thicker um, jumper or whatever, uh, and sometimes it's better just to have just your arm so you can see exactly where it's going. Um, and the other thing with this trick, you don't really want to be going too high with the throw, at least to start with, because it's going to make it a little bit tricky. Ideally, you want to throw it so it just gets to uh, just above where your arm is, so it doesn't have much to drop. Um, you're still going to be going down, but it's going to be m m more easy to control than if it was like there, and you've got to go all the way down. So just like this. Um, and you may, I don't know how obvious it was, but you may not see that my arm is going down like a lot to balance it, but it's just a very subtle, uh, subtle um, adjustment. Uh, and this will become clear the more you practice it. So if you give that some attempts as well, and then when you're comfortable, if you're comfortable and you'd like to try these two tricks in the three ball pattern, it's very possible indeed. You can do just a normal cascade like this. And then when you feel ready, you can throw one high from uh, your left hand or your opposite hand to where you're gonna do the elbow. Then you can pop it, go back into the pattern, or you can pop it and balance. Um, and then from here, you can also bend back into the pattern. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I'd love to have some feedback on how you're getting on. Um, if you're enjoying the videos, enjoying the uh, teaching, etc., it would be great to hear. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.